video. Okay, guys. So uh, last time in episode one of these build series here on this 2019 uh, KTM 690 Enduro, we installed the wings exhaust in the episode one. In today's video, we're going to be installing some Rottweiler stuff. I'm going to start with the fuel dongle here. And in the next video, I will be installing the SAS delete kit here. And in the video after that, I will be installing this one here. And what this is, is... No, I'm not going to show you now. But uh, don't mind what it says on the box, because that's not what's in it. But if you look at this part here, you may get an idea. Stay tuned, man. Well, uh, first off, let's get this Rottweiler fuel dongle on the bike. I've seen some other videos where this fuel dongle here has a red and a yellow cord in it. Mine doesn't. I don't know why, actually, but uh, as it looks to me, it does have the same part number. So uh, we hope it works. So let's get this baby installed. All right, so let's dive right into it. What we're gonna start out by doing is take off the plastics and the seat here. There goes one plastic. And guys, I will really urge you to use a magnetic hole like this for all the screws and bits and bobs. Okay guys, so now I've taken the basic plastics off here. And the next part here is to get this thing right here on the exhaust. We need to get that off, so let me just zoom in. Okay, so next part here is to put the wrench on this one. And then just get this baby loosened up. And now she's out. Okay. So let's get over to the other side of the bike. So as you see, we now have the oxygen sensor out of the exhaust. And uh, what we're gonna have to do here is cut a zip tie here and a zip tie up here so we can get this baby out. So that's what we're gonna do now. One down. One more zip tie to cut up here. And then this baby is loose. So as you see right here, here comes the plug. So here you see, we have the very, very famous and awful to pull apart KDM plugs. So uh, what you need to do here is you need to pull this one, this part right here. You need to lift out in that and that will release the plug like that just this tab right here you need to push it out don't try to push it in push it out and then you can remove this dongle stuff right here the plug so here we have the oxygen sensor one Oxygen sensor right here. And what we're gonna do with that? Throw it away. The Rottweiler fueling dongle. This is the part number right here. So uh, let's hope this baby fits with no issue. Let me cut this plastic bag up right here like that I think maybe this is a new model because as I said before normally I've seen they have like a red and yellow plug right here well in this end actually but uh, this doesn't but uh, who cares as long as it works and it's of course very easy to see which which side goes in where as you can see right here, there's a little tab on this, on the side here. So that, of course, needs to fit with this one. So, let's see. Boom! 
Now we have the dongle in. So what you just need to do is you need to use a couple of new zip ties down here. We don't need any because that was the oxygen sensor. And uh, up here you can put a new strip up here, a new zip tie up here. And also this one you can zip tie up here. So now we need to get this screw, this plug for the exhaust in. So uh, let's do that right now. So as you can see here, we now have the hole here from the oxygen sensor uh, and we can leave that open. And that is what this little part here is for. This O2 plug that you see right here. Let me see if I can focus on this. O2 plug, 12 MS. It looks like this. I just took the one in mild steel. You can get this in titanium and all sorts of stuff also, but uh, I just took the one in mild steel. And as you see here, it has this little copper gasket also. But what I like to do with these is also just to give it some ceramic grease, so that can handle up to high temperatures, so uh, it will help this to not get absolutely stuck in the exhaust which then you will never ever get it out if you need to so uh, just give this some grease right here let's give it some more like that as you see here i just gave it some grease here and now let's try and get this thing in the hole oh my god i know what you're thinking about stop it man that's not what i meant and you know it so, I'm gonna screw this in by hand at first. And then, once again, like in my earlier video, I just love this little Vera key right here. Very handy in situations like this where you don't have much room here. Like that. And that was it, guys. Now, we installed the fuel dongle for the KDM 690 Enduro or SMC. So that was actually it guys. Uh, as I said, just zip tie those few areas I showed you and put on your plastics again. And then when you have this installed and you need to start up the bike again, I would recommend that you do the ECU calibration thing too, just to let it know that it has made some changes. Um, if you don't know how to do that, make sure to check video number one where I was installing the wings I do the ECU calibration after installing the wings exhaust so uh, check out the other video links in the description there and uh, until next time guys for episode 3 which will be installing of the Rockweiler SAS delete kit until that uh, like this video post me a comment if there's something you want me to know or something you want me to talk about or if you just have something bad to tell me, a good to tell me, whatever man, just post me a comment. Like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more cool videos like this on this KDM 690's journey to becoming a shit hot supermoto. So, uh, Beast Mode Moto signing out. See ya.